Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. My name is Tin Chu, a fourth year medical student. Currently doing my sub I in internal medicine. Welcome to a day in my life. One aside of having a dog is that you will never need an alarm clock again. Mochi will always wake me up around 6.30 to 7am and will not let me go back to sleep. Set. And this can be a good thing or a bad thing. On my break days, it's terrible because I yes. can't slip in. Yes, but girl. at least now I won't need an alarm clock. So after taking her out to go potty, I feed her. And I will try to play with her for a little bit so she won't get too bored staying at home alone. She's still a little puppy, so she gets separation anxiety. Today's my first day with a new attending, so I got uh, dressed up and uh, make a good first impression. Usually I try to dress up for the first day and then ask the attending if it's okay for me to wear scrubs for the rest of the rotation. So no big deals. The only thing I hate about dressing up is that the dress shoes just kill your feet by the end of the day. So I'm not much a breakfast guy, so my go-to is usually a protein shake. And I just recently stocked up on Uncrustable, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is my guilty pleasure. That's it. So it's a good snack. Unfortunately, it's terrible for you. But it is delicious, so. So depending on which floor you're on, I usually try to show up around 7 and pre-rounds on the patients and how many patients I have. If it's 2 or 3 and if it's no old or new patient, he usually give me one new patient and I usually follow up on two or three old ones. Like four and that should take, you know, usually an hour for chart tracking and everything. Usually the new patients take way longer just to just get a full history out of them. But I think today we are on admitting so I don't have to be there until 8. So I can take my time a little bit. Fortunately, the place where I'm staying at is contracted with a hospital, so it goes on a week-by-week -week payment, so that's nice. And it's also super close, about 7 or 8 minutes away. Because what we're hearing over and over again, I got home for the day well, you'll at 5pm right now. It's not so let me go a little bit early today. Especially my last day with that uh, attending, it's great, it's a great learning experience. Uh, the hospital is good, I actually go by seven days on, seven days off, so I get a uh, different attendant each week. Um, so a lot, we were on the meeting this week, so if, uh, the, we spend most of the time the ED, if the ED physician has any uh, patient that can get admitted, they will contact us, the hospitalists, and then I'll go see, see the patient, and present to the attending, and then we'll go see the patient. Uh, pretty much CHF every day, you know, a lot, a lot of CHF is activation, a lot of echo will get done, where you just die your wisdom and loop like erratics, like six, much any on ACE inhibitors and uh, standards for the leave. If you like this, uh, if you like this beta block, you're just going to uh, assassination. Yeah, so go home. Um, Busy day, we probably have like 10 patients today. A uh, few consults. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, I can't show you guys the stuff in the hospital just because we're pretty busy and I don't like filming in the hospital because it's just, I get a weird, nervous, you know, thing about it. You know, I get in trouble and stuff. So, the home took Mochi out, she took the dump right in front of the door. She, 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 hey, no. 
go. Pedal. Yes. Good job. Yeah, so I'm just gonna play with her a little bit because she's. Hey! She's been in the crate all day long, so I feel bad. Uh, can't get her energy out. I haven't been running with her because I've just been in the mood. And then, yeah, so let's tie her out. It's around 6 p.m., that's when I usually eat dinner. And I forgot to cook the rice yesterday, so I had to wait a little bit before eating. But that's okay, because I need to grill up my chicken tonight anyway, and stop eating the meal prep. And if you're Asian, you know that the best way to get to measure how much water you put in for your rice is using the finger method. Never fail. Always reliable. Go up to that first part of your index finger and you get perfect right every time. Now it's time to grill up some chicken thighs. Final product. If I had a lid, it wouldn't be this burnt, but I had no lid, so I had to make sure it's cooked. So I actually already meal prep. But uh, we have these extra chickens because uh, my pan wasn't big enough to bake everything all in one, so I gotta try to make these chicken while it's still fresh. It's been like a week already. I hope it's not bad yet. So, salt. Pepper, a little bit of fish sauce. <laughs> yeah, it has some sugar, I throw it in there too, but yeah, bounce out the sugar. Hopefully, this doesn't taste too bad. So, while eating, I like to watch some kind of like TV shows or something. And I recently finished Modern Family, so now I'm watching Two and a Half Men again because I never finished it. I, watched, I think I watched like two or three seasons when it first came out, and I remember I really liked it. So, when I watch it again, it's still hilarious. And I really miss Charlie Sheen. And it's really a shame and about his drug problems and other problems he had. But I really liked him. He made some awesome movies. After eating dinner, it's time for a little bit of Omki. And I have to keep up with my farm and micro card. Got to keep my streak going. I suspended everything else. And I'm also making cards for any new information that I'm learning while I'm on the rotation that's relevant for my intern year and during residency. So after that, I unwind with a little bit of League of Legends Wild Rift. If any of you guys want to play in, add me. But you probably shouldn't because you should be studying. Unless you finish with stuff too like me already and ready is applying for residency, let's do it. See you in the field of justice.
before I sleep and turn in for the night, I like to just read a little bit on my Kindle. The current book I'm reading is Irreversible Damage by uh, Abigail Schreier. And it talks about the rise in transgenderism in teenage girls and all of a sudden. So it's a very in interesting read. And I highly recommend it. You guys should read it. It's uh, shine lights on a lot of things. And it's had a lot of you know, backup sources and research that she quotes. So it's nice. It's very, very interesting read. So that's it for the end of the night, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. You guys want to see more, you know, videos like this. I can definitely make more. And thanks for watching. Until next time, this is your boy, Tim.